Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily oracle and tarot card reading. And today's reading is going to be for Monday, September the 12th. And we're using the Angel Therapy Oracle cards all week long by Doreen Virtue. And I just received this deck of cards for my birthday, I believe it was in June. And this is the first time I'm using them. Uh, and this is a beautiful deck of cards. If you'd like to see the review, I have a review posted on my YouTube channel here. So you can see the whole deck. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have past life issue. Take the center card. And we have ascended masters. And the bottom card is power animal. Okay, so with this card here, past life issues. Okay, it's saying the situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. Yes, many of us have unresolved past life issues, and we're maybe totally clueless as to how to find out what they are and what needs to be resolved. And this is telling you to ask your angels to help you, uh, have them give you signs, how to release this, how to, uh, you know, overcome it. Uh, a lot of things um, in our lives uh, that are happening now, maybe due to past karma. And what I get from spirit is, is it says this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. So whatever you're going through now is, is something that had to do in a previous or past life. And you need to ask your angels to guide you to whatever that is, to remind you, to help you recall exactly what the issue is. And then begin to heal it. And then this card is saying, Ascended Masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. And they certainly are. And uh, I know this is my favorite here. That's... Uh, Paramahansa Yogananda, and I have all of his books. He is an amazing, amazing teacher. And this is saying that they're watching over you and guiding you. And we always have, we always have the opportunity to ask for help from the spiritual realm. They want you to ask for help. So if it's one of the ascended masters, one of the angels, um, if you're going through a tough time, they want to guide you. They want to help you. You're not in this alone. And I know a lot of times it's hard for people, you know, to ask for help. Uh, but that's what they're there for. They want you to ask them. Just uh, how powerful prayer is to me. When I pray and I surrender and release something, okay, I feel such a sense of peace knowing that I did all that I could do. And there's nothing more that I could think of to remedy whatever it is. But when I hand this over and I ask for guidance, you'll see the signs. You'll be pointed in directions. Things will happen. Synchronicities will take place. But call upon them to guide you. And then Power Animal. And what a beautiful card that is. And Power Animal says, your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. And I believe we all have animal spirit guides assigned to us. And this is a very, very powerful card. I believe that all animals have significance in our life. And when they cross our paths, they have messages to give us. So pay attention to that. And what I get from spirit here too is, they're guarding us. They're watching over us and helping us with our situation. Again, we will receive help if we believe that we could be helped. We pray. We ask. And the most important thing is when you're praying and asking for this guidance, that you stay calm and centered and grounded. Because again, life could get really, really tricky. Things could get very, very hectic. And if we're not grounded and centered and paying attention, we're going to miss the signs. We're not going to feel our gut feelings. We're not going to pay attention to our intuition. So not only do we need to ask for help, 
while we're waiting for those answers and guidance, we also need to do our part by staying grounded. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.